Yes, guys. So let's look at licenses for intellectual property and certain examples and illustrations given as per your ICA study material. Right to the example that he is given, starting with Pogo has created a popular TV show, television show called as Chota Beam, very popular uh, you know TV series, and especially with those toys that he has given. Pogo grants a three-year license to a toy manufacturer. For the use of the character Chota Beam and on its toys. As for the contract, Pogo will continue to produce the show and popularize the character and carry out marketing activities. The toy manufacturer produces and, show and sells Chota Beam toys and in this case the license provides access to Pogo's intellectual property rights. Pogo will undertake activities that significantly affect the intellectual property by production and marketing of the show and development of the character. Toy manufacturer is directly exposed to any positive or negative effects of Pogo's activities, that is how the show is received by the kids and their parents. These activities are not separate performance obligations as they do not transfer good and service to the toy manufacturer separate from the license. Therefore, Pogo shall recognize such revenue over a period of time. Because though it is a three years contract, it is not just the license to use Chota Beam's character, but also Pogo has an obligation to develop the character, market the character in such a way that the popularity of the character stays intact for three years. So since Pogo's obligation is not just to give the license, but also to perform other activities to keep the popularity of the character up, therefore it is a, a performance obligation which is not transferred at a point of time but over the entire three years. Therefore, the license revenue will be recognized by Pogo over the entire three years period of time. Right to use. In contrast, the license represents a right to use the intellectual property as it exists at a specific point of time and the customer gains control over the intellectual property at the beginning of the period for which it has the right to use the intellectual property. Then the timing may differ from when the license was granted. Clear? Look at the question he has given or the illustration that he has given. An entity, a music record label, licenses to a customer a 1975 recording of a classical symphony, uh, symphony by a noted orchestra. The customer, a, a, a consumer products company, has a right to use the recorded symphony for all commercials including television, radio and online advertisement for, the two, for two years in a country A. In exchange of providing the license, the entity receives a fixed consideration of 50,000 rupees per month. The contract does not include any other good or service to be provided by the entity. The contract is non-cancellable. How determine how the revenue will be recognized? So first thing that we will fall to a trap of is that 50,000 rupees is being remunerated per month basis over the entire two years of the contract. But you need to understand what is the license given for? The license is given for a music uh, or a particular synchrony by a noted orchestra. So as on the date the license was granted, this orchestra or this music which has been already created is existing. As it exists, the, the customer is basically ready to accept. So there is no new development which is emerging over no next two years. There is no other obligation of, uh, for this entity which is a music record label. Look at the statement that he has made. The contract does not include any other goods and services to be provided by the entity. Therefore, as such, it is only the license of intellectual property as it exists on the day when the license was granted. So even though the consideration is, is paid by the entity over the period of time, you need to understand that this is a revenue which has to be recognized at a point of time. Look at the statement, uh, the solution for this, the entity assesses the goods and services promised to the customer to determine which goods and services are distinct in accordance to para 27 of India's 115. The entity concludes that the only performance obligation is the grant of the license because there is no other transfer of goods and services. The entity does not have a contractual or an implied obligation to change the license recording. The license recording has a significant standalone functionality and therefore the ability of the customer to obtain the benefit of the recording is not substantially derived 
from entity's ongoing activities. The entity therefore determines that the contract does not require and the customer does not reasonably expect the, under, the act, entity to undertake any activities to significantly affect the license recording. Consequently, the entity concludes that the nature of promise in transferring the license is to provide the customer with a right to use the entity's intellectual property as it exists at a point of time when it is granted. Therefore, the promise to grant license is a performance obligation satisfied at a point and the entity recognizes all the revenue at a point when the customer can directly use or obtain substantially all the remaining benefit from the licensed intellectual property. So therefore, here we are saying that this license contract will be recognized as revenue as and when the license is granted to the customer. Clear? Moving on. A software company X licenses a software to company Y. Under the agreement, X will provide upgrade, updates and upgrades on, on a when and if available basis. Y chooses to install them. Y expects that X will undertake no other activities that will change the functionality of the software. So what is he saying? He is saying that I will give you a software. If in case there is a necessary change which it, if any, that means there is a change. Let us say I give you an accounting package. Okay, there is a change in the GST forms. So what happened? Such GST forms have been embedded into the software itself. In such case, in such case, whenever there is a change, I will make sure that the software is made available to you or the change is made available to you. However, Y expects that X, X will undertake no other activities that will change the functionality of the software. In such case, here it is satisfied at a point of time. There is no satisfaction over a period of time. There is no commitment of X. There is no commitment of X to develop this particular software over the license period. It can leave it as it is and Y cannot question it. If any it is available, if any there is a change necessary, then X will undertake and give it to Y. However, there is no obligation. Since there is no obligation, the only obligation in this entire contract is the license of use of software. The license of use of software when it is transferred then the performance obligation is complete and you can recognize revenue at a point of time when the license is granted to entity Y. Read the solution. Based on the facts given in the question, it is concluded that although the updates and upgrades will change the functionality of the software, they are not considered and determining the nature of entity's promise in granting the license. The activity of X to provide updates and upgrades are not considered because they transfer a promised good or service to Y, that is upgrades are distinct from the license. Therefore, the software license itself provides a right to use the intellectual property, which is satisfied at a point of time. Now, both the illustrations that we have seen have given us the same kind of feeling that both cases the revenue was recognized at a point of time. Let's see certain revenues which are expected to be satisfied over a period of time. Film Studio C grants a license to customer D to a show uh, to show a completed film. It's a completed film. C plans to undertake significant marketing activities that it expects to affect the box office receipts for the film. The market will not change the marketing activities will not change the functionality of the film, but could affect the value. Determine the nature of license. I've produced a movie, and this particular company D has taken the license to showcase the movie like an OTT platform just like a Netflix. But C plans to undertake significant marketing activities which could affect the box office receipts of the film. However, these marketing activities will not affect the functionality of the film but could affect the value of the film. Guys, in this case, if you look at here what you are saying, it is a standalone functionality and they do not significantly uh, affect the uh, D's ability to obtain benefit. So I will still say that this is a license which is transferred or intellectual pro tra property transferred at a point of time. C probably concludes that the license provides a right to use the intellectual property. Therefore, it is transferred at a point of time. There is no expectation that C will undertake activities that will change the form or functionality of the film. However, the intellectual properties are significant standalone functionality. C's marketing does not affect D's 
inability to obtain benefits from the film, nor will they affect the intellectual property available to T. Therefore, the revenue should still be recognized at a point of time. I'm still waiting for an illustration where we get over a period of time. Look at question number 16 then. Sports team D enters into a three-year agreement to license its team name, logo, to apparel manufacturer M. Like how India is now using Baiju's. Okay. So basically, uh, a particular apparel making company is making the license to use the sports team name D. The license permits M, that is an apparel manufacturer, to use the team name and logo on its product and display the product uh, display products in its advertising and marketing material. Determine the nature of license in the above case. Modifying the above facts, sports team D has not played games in many years and the license and the licensor is a brand collector B and the entity has acquired has acquired IP such as old team or brand names or logo from defunct entities and those in financial distress. B's business model is to license the intellectual property and obtain settlements from entities that use intellectual properties without permission, without undertaking any ongoing activities to promote or support the intellectual property rights. Would your answer be different in this situation? Two situations he has given. In the first case, it's an active team which is using it. An apparel manufacturer M has obtained the license to use the team name and logo for its products and display for its advertising and marketing material. What if the team does not perform well? Suddenly the performance of the team dips and they are not performing any well at all and most of the fans are very really, really disappointed with it. If I ask you to buy a bat which is signed by a player who hasn't scored a run in the last 10 innings, will you still buy it? I'll say that person is not even performing. What is the point of even buying such a bat or a t-shirt which is signed that by such an artist? Therefore, the intellectual property which has been obtained by the apparel manufacturer M is significantly affected by the performance of the sports team D. If it performs better, then the apparel manufacturer will start selling more. If the performance of the team dips, then it is not, per not possible to basically extract so much of economic benefit from the intellectual property. Therefore, in this case, even though it is just to, to use uh, the team name and to use their logo, however, the performance obligation will depend on the performance of the team and it will significantly define or determine the value of the product. Therefore, this is a case where it will be satisfied over a period of time. Look at it. The nature of these promise in this contract is to provide M with a right to access the sports team's intellectual properties and accordingly the revenue will be recognized over time. In researching this conclusion, D considers the above facts. M reasonably expects D to undertake activities that will support and maintain the value of the team name, logo and by continuing to play games and fields a competitive team throughout the license period. These activities significantly affect the intellectual property's ability to provide benefit to M because the value of the team name and logo is significantly de derived from and dependent on these ongoing activities. The activities directly expose M to a positive and a negative effect that is whether D plays games and feels in a competitive team which, are di which directly affects how successful M is going to sell its products featuring the team name and team logo. These on ongoing activities do not result in a transfer of goods and services as they occur. That is the team playing games do not transfer any good or service to M. But what is the second one? They are defunct teams. But if someone who copies a copyright or a, an intellectual property, they want to sue them and extract money. That is the intention. So they are already a defunct team. Here, based on these circumstances, apparel manufacturer M probably does not expect B to undertake any activities to change the form of intellectual property or to support and maintain the intellectual property. Therefore, it is probable that to, to conclude that the nature of promise to provide M with the right to use the intellectual property as it exists at the time when the license is granted. Therefore, in this case, the revenue shall be recognized 
with respect to these intellectual properties of a defunct team in the second point in the if it is a defunct team then i don't expect you to play any ongoing games or i don't expect you to play in a competitive manner it is not going to determine the value of the license therefore it as it exists at the date of grant of license the intellectual property is undertaken therefore in the second case it is a revenue which is recognized at a point of time that is when the license is granted clear so this question is even more comprehensive because we have seen both the cases where it will be recognized over a period of time and also where it will be recognized at a point of time 